There's Edward Preble. U.S. Flintlock Musket, model 1795. There you go. Kind of dark in here. I hope you can see some of this. End of the war. Attack on Tripoli. 3rd of August, 1805. Here's a print engraving. Here's Farragut's, David Glasgow Farragut's War of 1812 sword. There's a blunderbuss made by Newton, a gunsmith in Grantham, England. Kind of a light one. Here's a, a very rare object, the cat of nine tails. See that? Take a good look and see how you'd like to be hit with that sucker. Not me. Uh, they've got the ends weighted with lead, apparently. And that thing is a good uh, two feet long plus. Uh, man. The good old days, huh? They weren't pleasure cruises, let me tell you. Here's a model of the Constitution. Bunch of pictures. British flintlock pistol 54 caliber made by John Sharp in Birmingham, 1813, circa 1813. Nice looking piece. Going to the War of 1812 area here. Here's a beautiful presentation dirk. Alright, let's look at that thing. Oh, fantastic. Blue blade with gold inlay. Um, 1807, British warship Leopard, etc., etc. There's the description. I'll let you read it for yourself. Given to Lieutenant William H. Allen as a token of esteem for his courage and endurance in the action of June 22nd, 1807, by the officers of the USS Chesapeake. All right, that's where that came from. That's a beautiful weapon. Presentation dirk. I uh, hear some uh, prisoner of war ship models. French sailors made this one. Bone model of the Essex, made somewhere else. Beautiful thing. Probably took them years and years. Some about privateers here. General Armstrong. Uh, the gun we saw, the big, the big one over there that was aboard the Hoche, was also aboard the General Armstrong. Figurehead from the General Armstrong. Cute little fella. War on the Lakes. British blanket. Must have moths in it, it's temporarily removed. Drawing by midshipman Peter W. Spicer. Battle of Lake Ontario. Beautiful drawing about the Battle of Lake Ontario. Copper Spike. Gentleman's walking cane, there you go. McDonough Desk, okay, made in Britain. Walnut Desk belonged to Commodore Thomas McDonough. His name is engraved on a brass plate on the lid. That's a nice artifact there. Very hysterical. This shell fired from U.S. ship Saratoga on Lake Champlain at the Battle of Plattsburgh, New York, 1814, presented to Union College. Hmm. I guess I had some reservations about that at one time because I'm not sure it's a mortar shell and I'm not sure that the Saratoga had any mortars and it looks like a, a, a big mortar shell, probably a close to 13 inch. Saratoga didn't have any mortars. Mortifacts, okay. Cannonball, that's actually a shell. Got a hole in it. North Model 1808, Navy Flintlock Pistol. One of those. Marine Non Commission Officer Sword. There you go. Nice piece. Hamilton and Scourge. This, this is a picture of a figurehead of a ship that's still underwater. Yeah. Tells about the burning of Washington, Battle of Lake Bourne. 
There's a picture of the battle. This lake was near uh, New Orleans, apparently. More on the Barbary Wars. Silver Algerian scimitar. Okay, the beautiful old uh, weapon from Algeria. Where'd that come from? Counter John Downs served with Decatur. Decatur presented the sword to Downs for the important role he played during the five hour battle to defeat the uh, frigate. I can't pronounce it. On, in 1815. All right. A couple of ship half models. U.S. Navy Anchor Powder Flask. Commodore Sloat's sword is right there. Here's a uh, Model 1843 Hall North Breech Loading Percussion Carbine. Historic weapon used by uh, all, both U.S. Armed Services, Army and the Navy, as far as I know. Jenks U.S. Navy Carbine called a mule ear because there's a mule ear coming off of it which is actually the hammer. This is in the part about the Mexican War. Okay. We got officer's sword belt buckle. There's one. 1842 percussion navy pistol which is box lock pistol. Yeah. Box lock because the uh, hammer is all enclosed inside the lock. A little bit more on that sword. Okay. We got a model of U.S. Gunboat 156. It doesn't look like an old model. And uh, that had that was fought on Lake Bourne, right? Uh, commanded by Lieutenant Thomas Catesby Jones. He and his son are both famous in uh, the annals of the Navy. This must be Catesby Jones' sword, but unfortunately, there's no uh, sign on it. So maybe it was presented to him, and maybe there's something written right there where we can see something about it. Okay? Yeah, too much. What's it say? It's got three names on it. Three words. Man, I can't tell exactly what it says. Too bad. There's again the fighting top. Here's a very rare and historic uh, Dahlgren 24 pounder boat howitzer. Wasn't used on boats, just called that because that's what the family of weapons is called, is used on ships. Uh, essentially as a broadside weapon. This is made by Ames in Chickpea, Massachusetts. Missing the hammer. 24 pounder boat howitzer. It's on uh, the original sliding mount, recoil mount, pivot mount we call it, okay? Uh, pivot mount. Here's that small iron gun again. 